What's up everyone? Here to do Hunter x Hunter 116 and man, I really enjoyed this week's episode. It's so weird because we didn't have any fighting. Uh, it was all dialogue, but in my opinion, I thought it was really well done. Uh, it, it was stretched out a little bit, obviously, but in my opinion, it wasn't that bad just because we got so much out of the main character and it was emotional, man, to be honest. Like, it just, I felt so bad for Gone and it was just such a messed up situation. Like, you don't really, like, it's hard to make a decision. That's why I kind of think how Gone was thinking, like, wasn't necessarily that bad but uh anyways sorry about not having a review last week it was a pretty simple episode anyways but um, i'm gonna get into this week's review so the episode starts off with gone walking into the room or asking p2 do you remember me and he powers up and i must say something about the aurora in this week's episode was this just madhouse like drawing extra things in the aurora or is that how it is in the manga like does gone's nin look different because oh my gosh like it had like black mixed in with it like i i wonder are we gonna get some more insight like maybe if somebody feels a certain way their aurora can change a little bit because this aurora like we obviously have not seen this in hunter x hunter 2011 before so i'm just curious if you're a manga reader please let me know just because i thought it looks really cool or thought that it looks cool but anyways after that p2 really can't even hear gone uh going off on her he just says he's gone free us and man it is just so weird he seems like a new character like i was told that he was different before but i really didn't think that he was going to be this different but anyways, P2 is only focusing on uh, healing Kumagi because she obviously, like the king is why she even exists. And Kiwa notices that something is weird because she's just completely naked. There's no aurora around her. Uh, Gon would easily defeat her without any aurora. And he was just a little confused about what was going on. But Gon tells P2 to get that monster and get away from Kumagi because all he can think of with all the strings is kite and how he was so broken and man uh, i'm not sure about this like is kite dead or is he not like i mean i guess i don't want anybody to tell me because it would be spoiler but i'm just kind of confused about that because um they said something about get kite back but then i've heard like heal kite so i don't know i'm a little confused but anyways tells her to get away and she shows no malice by laying her hands down uh, up on the ground with her palms up. And man, he is just like confused. And she just says, please wait. And oh, man, uh, <laughs> as he has the right to Gon just completely loses it. And he's like, what? Like, how dare you ask me that? While Gon is really mad and is powering up, Kiwa realizes that he knows what's going on and that that person was the third party they've been wondering about. And so he was right. And he's just wondering, should he tell Gon? And um, he also realizes that Nefer P2 is pretty much, uh, like I said, naked right now because she has no roar or anything to fight Gon. And he doesn't know whether he should tell or not because I'm thinking that I, this is what I thought originally that <clears throat> he may actually go and may actually feel bad if he finds out that that girl is getting healed, not hurt. And uh, it wasn't that at all. Gon clearly does not care whether this girl lives or dies. But Nefer P2, uh, as Gon is walking towards her, says she'll do anything to save this girl. And she has to because it's somebody important. And he goes, save what? like what do you mean and you see his face i i have to put that as a thumbnail it is just a face i really never expected out of <laughs> any shonen character pretty much but um he's like you have to save her i'm i'm confused <laughs> and gones it actually tries to i mean i'm sorry killa tries to say something and he says uh killa i'm asking the questions and that really shocked me i must say just because 
like Gon is not this kind of character, but he has no fucks given at the moment. Right after that, Neferpitu says that she'll do anything. This is someone important to her and uh, she has to because the king, she wants him to say the same. And she says once she's healed Kumagi, she'll do anything that he wants. And oh my gosh, rightfully so, Gon goes, you want, you, you must. And I just have to say, this OST music that was playing was really good this week. We actually got two new OSTs that I haven't heard before. And Gon is just, like, in shock. He's like, what? Like, and he, his breath, he starts breathing really, like, hard and stuff. And uh, whoever the voice actor is, I must say, this week's episode, he did a phenomenal job. Oh, my gosh. Like, it was so good just hearing the difference in these different voices. It, it was just amazing. And I love right after how Gon just goes, how dare you, like, say that to me? And Kill tells him to calm down again because he starts letting all this Aurora go. And he says that we might have done this or we did this. It was his grandpa's dragon dive and we should just wait. And Gon is like, so? He's like, so you're telling me probably, maybe, likely... He's like, what's wrong with you? I Just his emotions in Madhouse, man. The animation was so good this week. I really like how they just animated everything. It was really well done. And he goes, you want me to listen to this monster? And out of nowhere, Neferpitu just breaks her left arm. And she says, you can have my right. You can have my legs. You can have my limbs. And she said anything uh, you can take a part, uh, away any body part as long as I can still heal her at the same time and Gone is just he's so conflicted like he even stumbles back like he doesn't know how to feel and he just smashes the ground and just says this is so unfair because Gone has nobody to be angry at and he smashes the ground and it didn't even look like he used Aurora and he's just like why are you helping her after what you did to Kite and he just lets his Aurora go once again and he's just like fuck it I'm just gonna take you out and he starts charging up his rock paper scissors and that's when Killa steps in and tells him if you kill P2 we may not be able to get Kite back. And he calms down. And uh, another thing about the rock, paper, scissors, too, the roar was different there, too. So please let me know. Is, like, something wrong with this Aurora? Or is this just um, a new ability? Or I I'm just really curious. Or maybe just Madhouse did it in a different way to show his anger. Anyways, Gon is just like furious but he ends up stopping and he tell, says to Kiwa you have it easy you're perfectly calm because it means nothing to you and I just feel bad for Kiwa just because Gone like he doesn't know who to take his anger out on I think when you're in a situation like that he's just mad at everybody but uh Kiwa he's just telling him that he's out of control and he's losing his cool because they're there to save Kite and he ends up telling him that he's okay now and he calms down a bit but his eyes get really cold and he asks Nefer P2 how long and she tells him four hours and this is one of my favorite parts of the episode he goes no we can't wait that long like oh it was just really cool how he said it and she said an hour she'll get the critical parts taken care of and he says okay in an hour you're coming with me to hill kite can you hold that promise and she says that she can and he sits right in front of her and says okay i'll wait right here and i really like that part and how the uh, voice actor said it it was cool but he's just waiting there and for p2 she looks kind of scared which is really surprising me but the only thing though is that i've been thinking is what if she just like doesn't care she's just like nope I'm, I'm not about to do anything you say 
I just wonder, like, would that bring go on to a whole nother level? Like, that it would just make stuff even, or make him even crazier than he is now. But, like I said, this was super dialogue heavy. It was all dialogue, actually. But I really did enjoy the conversation. It was so weird, because I've never seen anything like this that I've liked in a long time. And just hearing them figure out, like, how they're going to solve this problem and just going with his struggle and like what he should do because this girl has nothing to do with this situation but he needs to take care of kite but at the same time like something that kill said that was interesting in the episode about um she's not possible of this when she was protecting kumagi like a mother and it's just really like different to see like you actually feel bad for some of the villains at times like that's how you know this series is good like we know the royal guard now we, we kind of don't know Yupi as much but um as far as the other two royal guards and the king like knowing so much about them it's definitely like uh hyping this final battle up or these last couple battles but like i said this was a pretty good episode in my opinion i enjoyed it uh everybody might not like it but like i said i just enjoyed the conversation that they had and just figuring out how they were going to resolve this i mean i guess it could have been shortened up a little bit i wouldn't have minded that but to me i'm not complaining though just because we got to see this completely different side of go but anyways that's all i have let me know what you guys think and thanks